Hi folks and uh, welcome back to my kitchen. Um, this time I'll be I'll be showing you uh, what I'm going to do. Yesterday, no, I didn't have a chance to record anything because uh, um, it just it was dark. So I, the cameras that I have they do capture, but uh, sometimes even the phone, like it's a nice good phone that records perfect. When it comes to 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 darkness poor quality so I said I'm not going to bother I'll do what I have to do so we've been fishing for some mackerel uh, up in the ocean um, and we managed to, to catch about 14 uh, mackerel a few normal mackerel I call them and some jack mackerel as well which uh, I don't really I don't know just when I fill it them there's lots of bones even in the skin so uh, skin off on them but um, what I am going to do is uh, I'm going to smoke them, okay, and uh, see how they turn. I'll try to get low temperature for cooking, so it'll stay there for a couple of hours just to get a nice um, smoke, uh, nice coat of smoke. So um, we'll see how they turn. My first time doing this, but uh, I don't think it'll, it'll, they'll turn uh, bad. So. I'll be using a little bit of a rub. Uh, this is a Portuguese piri piri. I don't know, I see a chicken here, but it doesn't matter, I suppose. Once they have the nice and the right seasonings, it's perfect, so. Uh, and I'll have some fish seasoning. So, um, yeah, stay with me, I'll show you. I'll put a nice nice coat of, uh, of, uh, of seasoning on, on the fish and uh, I'll bring them to the smoker, so. So I'll put them straight on the on the tray for the for uh, for the smoker uh, so that's the mackerel cut them in fillets so that's a normal mackerel and this is the jack mackerel so as you can see skin off so I covered uh, the fish in uh, in salt yesterday evening after I filled them and left them in the fridge overnight and um, they turned so like hard this morning nice texture on the on the on the flesh not mushy not uh, soft so just hard uh, texture which it's great um, so I'm going to put them here of course I have uh, I drained the, the salt and I washed the fish as much as I could um, just to get rid of that extra salt that you don't really want okay so i'm hoping i can get two trays not more than two trays of uh, of fish try to spread them as much possible so they won't uh, touch lovely so i have two portions i'll call them okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to do this one here with the peri peri seasoning Hopefully I can get uh, <coughs> oh, you can you can feel the spices. It, it, it is spicy this one, so I'll try to get um, only a little bit. Turn them on the other side and um, I'll, uh, I'll put some seasoning on the other side as well, so it'll have a nice even coat of, um, of seasoning on both sides. Okay, so first three, it's done. I'm going to put it aside and get a new one here. Okay, on this one, I'm going to use the normal fish uh, seasoning. Mm, smells nice. Some lemon. This one is a little bit more fine, so it'll stay better um, on the fish. 
So with the fish season, um, we go out and uh, get the, the smoker running. So we'll see you outside. So folks, the fish is here. Um, I'll show you what I'm going to use. Uh, so I have a, a master built smoker, okay? Uh, the smoker is uh, is operated electric, but uh, it works on pallets, okay? So I'm going to use this time the wood chips, the maple wood chips, uh, because uh, it gives a little bit more sweetness into the into the the smoke so I'm going to fill the tray and see how it turns so two hours now since let's see oh man that's nice not bad I think I'm going to increase the the smoke It's just a, a patient game, uh, but in the meantime, I have to do the cleaning. Yes. All that space now was a mess, so I've done a little bit of cleaning, a little bit of the hedge cut. So in the meantime, we do what we have to do. So guys, just pulled out uh, one of the trays. Uh, it looked fantastic, like. I've tried it, okay. It's beautiful now. This one is a little bit dry, so I'll. Uh... 